I'm Mrs. Hasty, and today we're going to have fun with the commutative property of addition. Let's start with a rhyme. To make a number sentence, I write two atoms down, add them together, and a sum can be found. Now flip flop those atoms, and what do you see? The answer is still the same because of the commutative property. The commutative property. Do you know what that is? The commutative property of addition means that numbers can be added in any order and your answer will still be the same. Two plus three equals five. And three plus two also equals five. It doesn't matter if the two comes first or the three comes first. The answer is still the same. I'll show you why. This is my scale. Right now it's balanced. That means that the weight in each side is equal. Right now there's nothing in either side. Nothing and nothing is equal, is the same. Now, let's do some adding. Let's start with two red blocks and add it to four yellow blocks. Two plus four equals six. Let's put six in this side. Now it's not equal, is it? There's more weight on this side. Six on this side and zero on this side. This weighs more than this side. Now let's add on the other side. This time, let's start with four yellow plus two red. Four plus two is still six. We put it in and our scale is equal again. There's six on both sides. Even though we did two plus four on this side, and then four plus two on this side, even if we added the colors in a different order. The weight is still the same. The commutative property tells us our answers are still the same. Let's do our scale one more time. Now we have one yellow and three reds. One yellow and three reds makes four. And on this side, we're going to start with our three reds and our one yellow. Three plus one is still four, still equal. The commutative property tells us that we can do the add-ins in whichever order we want, and our answer will still be the same. Let's do some addition problems on our whiteboard. Let's add some pets. I have one, two dogs, and one cat. Two dogs and one cat. How many pets do I have in all? Two, plus one. Let's count. One, two, three. I have three pets. What if I use the commutative property and added them the other way? Would my answer still be the same? Let me count my one cat first. One cat plus two dogs. One, two, two dogs. One cat plus two dogs. Let's count again. One, two, three. That still equals three pets. It doesn't matter if I count my two dogs first or my one cat first. I still end up with the same answer because addition is 
commutative. I can add in either direction. Let's do it one more time. In my neighborhood, there are four dogs. One, two, three, four. Also in my neighborhood are three cats. One, two, three. Four dogs plus three cats equals how many pets live in my neighborhood? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven pets in my neighborhood. Let's use the commutative property. Which type of pet are we going to count first this time? We're going to flip the four and the three and start with the three cats. My neighborhood has three cats. One, two, three. And my neighborhood has four dogs. One, two, three, four. Three cats plus four dogs equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pets. The commutative property of addition works again. We can flip the add-ins, the numbers we're adding together, and the sum or the answer will be the same. Thanks for doing the commutative property of addition with me today. And don't forget to come back again for more learning fun. Keep learning at home by balancing numbers on your own scale made out of a hanger, string, and cups. Use Unifix cubes to show that numbers can be added in any order. Play match with addition fact cards. And there's always printable resources available at my teacher's store at TeachersPayTeachers.com. Don't forget to subscribe!